screw here and there's a screw here and you'll take those out and it kind of but some of them will have enough but other ones the older ones you unscrew this thing right this porcelain and then it, you would be able to get to the screws you got a white wire and a black wire let me see if i get you a better shot of that okay So white wire, black wire, and usually the white screw is like a lighter color and the black wire screw is a darker color, like that brass color and the steel color. So the white wire goes to the light screw and the black wire goes to the dark screw. So we have our new replacement right over here as I try to keep the camera steady as not to drive my viewers crazy. And uh, we're just going to straight forward. Just replace, here's a new pull string, porcelain pull string lamp socket. And you can see the light screw and the darker screw. So the white wire goes to the lighter screw and the black wire goes to the darker screw. And uh, they give you the two outside holes are open. Most of the boxes are sized for that screw distance. But if you have a smaller box, you knock these middle ones out with a screwdriver, with a flat-bladed screwdriver and a couple of taps on a hammer. Or you could just stick the screwdriver in the side and start twisting it. They'll usually crack right out. And uh, that's how you open up uh, those guys. And usually in the box, you'll also get the replacement pull string. And these are the screws that go up in the electric box. See if we can get some light for you guys. And these screws uh, are go in you know, there and over there. And then you kind of put the lamp socket up and just twist it a little bit in the keyholes and then tighten and make it nice and tight. You don't want to crack the porcelain, of course, but because it's a pull string and you're going to be pulling on it, you don't want those screws loose because it will just jiggle the socket loose after you turn the lights on and off a bunch of times. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Now, yeah, it just, uh, I mean, you might run into stuff like this electric box. It's like a junction box, too, so there's a lot of wires up in there. And we actually noticed on those white wires, the pigtail is actually missing. The uh, wire nut. So we looked around, and it actually fell out when we, uh, when we opened up the box. There it is there. So we could, I mean, if you didn't have one, you could put this back in. But I have a new one in the truck, so I'll probably use the new wire nut and, uh, and put that back in place. So don't let that confuse you. What you're interested in is the two wires that go directly to the, the lamp. the old side. one was that different style with that screw-in insulator, the leads are really short, so you can't get in there with the, to uh, hook these uh, up. So what I've done is I'm going to make what they call a little pigtail. I just took some 14-3 uh, wire or whatever, and I opened it up with the utility knife, and I took out a white and black about 8-9 inches long, and uh, I stripped the ends with the wire stripper. Uh, this we're going to pigtail onto the existing wires in the box with a couple of wire nuts. And the other end, I've uh, used the, uh, the little hole in the, uh, in the edge of the wire stripper to make a little bend. But you could just use a pair of pliers. And uh, these we're going to uh, put onto these two leads here. Again, the lighter one gets the white and the darker gets the black. Now, it's important, as you tighten these screws, you're going clockwise, so you want this hook in the direction that the screw's going to tighten. If it was this way, it would be wrong, and it would actually open up as you tightened it, and it would be a bad connection and would fail over time. So the right way is that it's hooked towards the rotation of the screw tightening, and that will actually make it tighter uh, as the screw gets tight and uh, and hold on and give you a good connection over the years So we're gonna uh, you know when we're done it's gonna be basically it's gonna take like a minute But uh, I only got one two hands so uh, but basically we're gonna tighten these two onto those two screws there Okay, and then we're gonna pigtail this into the box I'll show you that as soon as I get and this done coming up here to the box. Here's our black lead right here And we're gonna straighten that out 
And there's a loose connection in here somewhere, because every time I touch these wires, the other light in the room flashes on and off. So I think it's this wire nut. We're going to tighten that up. But anyway, I'm going to straighten this little loop out here, because we're going to pigtail. Well, actually, this is such a short thing, and it's a loose connection anyway. We're going to take this off, and we're just going to pigtail our black onto that. And we're going to pigtail our white onto these white wires here. So that's going to be our pigtails there. there we go. So I pigtailed the white and the black lead from the new fixture. And uh, there was also another wire nut up in this box that I tightened up because that's what was causing that other light to flash in the room. So we actually did good by getting in here and replacing this. Here's those screws that came with the new porcelain pull string lamp socket. And we're just going to thread those in there. Now, our little length of wire that we got, we're just going to kind of start twisting that. And there's still a loose connection in here somewhere. Let me see what's going on. i got to inspect this a little better. Okay, so I found it. We repeat tail. There's no big deal. It was those white wires. They just weren't all like the same length. So even when the wire nut was on, there was one short. Fix that up. And I tucked all of those wire nuts back up in the box there. This one, we're just going to start sticking it up there with our thumbs. And then, again, to make sure you don't pinch any wires when this is all together. And you put the new bolts in those keyholes. Okay, we give it like a turn to get it in those keyholes. And then it's just a matter of uh, tightening up the screws. Again, you want it nice and snug because it's a pull string. And you're going to be pulling on it, but you don't want to crack the porcelain, of course. We're going to double check that there's no wires pinched behind the porcelain against the metal box and we're gonna okay we are good to go Okay, my friends, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate and sub while you're here because it really helps me out with this YouTube thing. And, uh, you know, I, I'm just not wasting my time here. I mean, they actually pay me to do this stuff. Uh, and don't forget to comment because, indeed, in the future, people come here to learn how to put their porcelain pull string lamp socks in. They actually may read your comment or question. And it may actually help them out. So, uh, you know, use the comment box. Not a big deal.
And, of course, the last thing we're going to do is put our pull string on there, which is very easy. There's a beaded chain up there, and you slip the bead in there, and maybe click it in with a needle nose, or uh, they usually just slip right in there with a little bit of work, and you're all set. So, here we go, right up to the beat of chain. Okay. 